Hey, what's up everyone? Rick Splits coming at you with another theme park adventure. Today, we're back at Universal Studios for Nikki. Yeah, Nikki wants her new pass holder button. I do. Plus, the last time we were here, we didn't ride any rides. Yes. And we have to ride a ride. I'm in trouble for not riding enough rides with her. <laughs> totally. But before we get into the park, there's a couple new things here in City Walk I want to show you. The first thing is that they've added a couple new signs for like your transportation, your Ubers and your parking. These are new signs. Because they changed the whole parking and pickup area. Right, they the changed the, how, how the whole procedure works. So they had to put up new signs, I guess. At least I think they're new. <laughs> I've never noticed them before, so they're new. The other thing I want to mention here in City Walk, we just found out because we're starting to eat healthier, you know, vegetarian, gluten free and stuff, is that Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville does have a vegetarian menu and a gluten free menu. Yes, I was very excited to see that. That was the lunch we had off camera one day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't film everything I do. There's one more thing I want to show you before we actually get into the park. Check out the globe. I know you've seen it a lot, but have you really looked at it? What is wrong with this picture? In the comments below, I want you to look at this image and tell me what is wrong with this. Can you figure it out? This is the first time I've really noticed, so pay attention. Maybe at the end of this video, I'll tell you what's wrong with that picture. Before we really get rolling, we need to head inside the Universal Studios store. There's some new Honeydukes merch and a couple little like Harry Potter items I want to show you guys. Yeah. And look at this, they have a whole section of Honey Dukes merchandise. We've seen the mugs and like the candy dishes before, but the bags, we have never seen the bags. And the first thing we have here for $40, we think this is like a makeup bag? Yeah, a travel case. So you have one pouch that has that's clear, and then inside is another little bag. Yeah, it's super cute. And now we have for $55, this wallet or perhaps a clutch. It's Harry Potter lounge fly. You have the chocolate frog. You have the classic Honey Dukes um, stripes. The Honey Dukes logo on the front as well. Pretty nice. And for $84, this super cute purse. Look at this. It's like a candy wrapper, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a. Yeah. Super cute. And Nikki has informed me off camera that this is a crossbody. <laughs> I wouldn't know such things. And for $82, a Harry Potter lounge fly backpack, a little mini backpack. It's got all the little candies on it. It has a little Honey Dukes uh, thing on the zipper. Super cute. And this should fit in the small lockers here at Universal Studios. And the last thing I want to show you for $22, the snowman. This is the snowman that is in Hogsmeade, right near Hogwarts Castle. And I've only seen these in the stores. I've kind of looked online, and I haven't seen them online, but I think only in the stores here at Universal, the little Harry Potter snowman. And Nikki has made a purchase. Spin around. She has the Honey Dukes backpack. Okay, hun. And we actually bought this the other day. That's how we knew all this stuff was here. Yeah, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to have it. Couldn't resist. Yep. <laughs> and also, the other day while we were here, when we bought the Honey Dukes bag, we also bought that snowman. We did. <laughs> yeah, if you follow us on Instagram, then you've seen the snowman like in some posts. <laughs> what do you say we test out that new bag? Will it fit in the mummy lockers, the small ones? Let's go to the mummy, all right. put it in the locker, and then leave. No, no, we'll go on the ride. We'll go, we'll go on the ride. <laughs> including cell phones, wallets, bags, and loose change. Remember to keep your park ticket with you at all times. Ooh. You will need your park ticket to reopen your assigned locker. Oh, that was surprising. Yeah, the backpack was definitely... A little tighter than we thought it was. Yeah, and I, it's not even a full backpack either. It's like empty almost. But it's in there. You made it. I shall rule for all eternity. 
eternity. So we just got off the mummy, and we went single rider, but we were in the same cart. Yeah. You were row two, I was row four. Now, would you say here at Studios, this is the ride we've most been on. We've been on this more than any other ride, right? Yeah. Did you experience anything new today? Do you recall the treasure room? You know, where the little mummies pop up at you? Oh, yeah, and water. Something new, like a mist of water. Yeah, I never knew that. Was, yeah. All right. the times we've been on it, all the years, that's never happened. That's something new. Yeah, you're right. You never know what you're going to get. Oh, and one more thing before we get into the gift shop. Something new at the gift shop, but uh, regarding the lockers, the bag fit. You had to push that butt in, though. <laughs> um, but just so you know, like the first five minutes of your locker rental, you can go in and out as much as you want. Because I filmed you doing that when I was still holding the camera. So and then I, had... I asked him, I'm like, you want me to shut the locker? And I shut it. And then he's like, oh wait, I still have the camera. So we opened it back up and it wasn't a problem. Right, first five minutes, you can open it and reopen as much as you want. So the other thing of note here at The Mummy, inside The Mummy gift shop, the Sahara Traders, this is the temporary home of all your classic monsters. Since the store there on Hollywood Boulevard is closed as they're getting ready to retheme it for the Born Stuntacular, um, that used to have all your monster stuff. But with that being closed, it has relocated over here to the Mummy Gift Shop. The statues of the monsters are really, really cool. Yeah, they're great. I don't. I, I thought you know Frankenstein was my favorite, and then I saw Dracula, and like he's my favorite, and then like the Bride of Frankenstein. These are really, really cool. Yeah, stop on in and check it out. It's yeah. awesome. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So it is post Thanksgiving week and the crowd levels and the wait times are awesome. Yes, five minutes, like okay. everything. Everyone's gotta get back to work in school. <laughs> if you can swing it, you wanna hit these dead periods like after or before the holidays. Yeah. You know, I'm not really big on merch. I know, I don't show enough of it to you guys, I don't think. But it's really not my thing, shopping. But over here, I found a couple things I really, really like. So over here by Mel's Diner, there's this little outside shopping kiosk. Check out these ET items. First thing I want to show you is this Ringer T. ET phone home. I love the color scheme. Me too. Honestly, uh, you'll see me in that in future vlogs. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to get it. It's $30, but I like the retro look. Oh man, I I want, oh. You I want, want one too? I want to wear one myself. I mean, it's got yellow in it. Perhaps I could pull it off. <laughs> and then the other thing is the hoodie. The ET hoodie. It's got yeah. the same color scheme. This is $60. But it's got that retro look, that uh, the color scheme I really like. And of course, you know, hoodies are like famous in E.T. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so no, I might have to get that one too. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good in the hood with E.T. Oh, I like it. So yeah, look for Nikki in a future vlog to be wearing that E.T. shirt. Yeah, I can't pass that up. That's too awesome. And I really want one myself as well. <laughs> we'll be twinning as winning one day. We'll see. I don't know. You know, I have to wear yellow. I mean, but the ringer is kind of a yellow. It's yellow. Uh, we'll see if I can pull that off or not. So we're walking over here down Hollywood Boulevard to the Passholder Lounge. We're going to get the new button. Earl the Squirrel, I heard. So. Yes, it's so cute. It's really adorable. We'll show you when we get it. Pass holders are already lining up. 15 minutes before the Passholder Lounge opens at 11, Nikki's got her spot to get her button. And then after this, I think we have something very special to do. So here we are, the December button. It's Earl the Squirrel from the Christmas tree. So cute, Nikki is really happy with it. Now, Nikki here is really getting into the buttons, aren't you? I am, um, I'm a late starter for it too. Yeah. Like I was like, nah, what am I gonna need it for? And then once I started collecting them, I'm like, I have to have it. <laughs> <laughs> it's addictive. And I give her I give her mine, so. Yeah, so I put them on my cork board at work and then I also have one on a lanyard yeah. on my annual pass holder, but I don't wanna wear it because I don't wanna lose it. <laughs> I'm. It, it's gotten to be an obsession. I can't explain it. But now that we have the button, we heard a rumor. Yes. A very special treat today. We heard, and we're gonna walk over there and find out, Green Eggs and Ham is open at Seuss Landing. How odd is that? Well, let's go find out if it's true. Okay, because honestly, I would be surprised. Yeah, I, I mean, in all of my years, I've ever been here. I've not once, ever, ever seen it open. Yeah, me either. So, we, there's only one way. We gotta walk over there and find out. Let's go. The anticipation of green eggs and ham is killing me. 
I have to find out if this is true or not. I have no idea what the menu would look like. I've never stopped and looked. Is it breakfast? Is it lunch? Is it ham? Is it eggs? <laughs> is it green eggs and ham? I, we're going to find out. Are they green? Exactly. All things we need to know. And we thought we were going to get back to eating healthy after the holidays. Well, you are. I'll watch you eat it. Okay. So here we go. The wall is up. We can't see yet. Let's turn the corner and oh my God, it's true. It is true. It is open. For the first time ever, I'm going to have green eggs and ham. <laughs> oh my God, can you believe it? Oh, I cannot. This is insane. Let's get in the queue. So there are five options. You have pizza tots for $9.99, green eggs and ham tots for $9.99, which I think I'm going to get, buffalo chicken tots $9.99, and who hash for $14.99, and then a dessert, s'mores Nutella for $9.99. Isn't this exciting? So of course I had to go with green eggs and ham with the tater tots. It looks like it's got a little cheesy sauce in there as well. And mainly, we went with the Who Hash because of the packaging. It's in a Who Hash can. Nikki, since she's vegetarian, got it without any meat. Yes, and the lady behind me was actually really excited when she found out that you can get it without meat. So, yeah. yeah. And now it's time for Rick's quick food review of green eggs and ham. I do so like green eggs and ham. <laughs> That's how you're going to start it. <laughs> well, let me get a little more specific. I got the green eggs and ham. Yes, you did. Uh, so it's tater tots with a cheesy sauce. Yes. Uh, green scrambled eggs and little ham chunks. Yeah. The little bits of ham. Yeah. Um, I love the tater tots and the little cheesy sauce. Um, the ham was okay too. The eggs, like my whole dish, I don't think was warm enough. I wish it was warmer. Okay. But overall, I liked it. I mean, because I love like tater tots and cheese. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> so the green eggs and ham were a little, they were okay. okay. Now, now you've got the one with the really cool like serving dish. Yes, which I'm keeping by the way. Yeah, we're I gotta, keeping this. Yeah, I have to like get a bag and then wash it when I get home. Yeah. But yeah, so I got the hoo hash and I ordered it without meat, which was great. They had to go back and ask because of course they just opened today. So yeah, first I, day today. And I think I was the first one to ask that question. So they will, <laughs> they'll fix anything without the meat, yep. which is great to know. Um, but and I your, loved it. Yeah, Except, yours would come with corned beef. Yes, exactly. Right. But so, no corned beef and it had what else? Just the cheese and it had the tater tots. Yeah. So, and that was perfect. That's all I needed. And it's extremely filling. So, you would think it'd be like a snack, right. but it's not. Oh yeah, I it's, couldn't eat all mine either. Right. I mean, you could definitely share it and it'd be a snack. Yeah. You know. Once, once but, you grab the can, hold it up. So, super cute. and I think yours was a little more because of the can. Yeah, I think it was like $14.99. Yeah, yeah, $14.99 versus mine was $9.99. Right. But you, but you got the can. You got the can. Get to, yeah, I get to get the can. That's Yay. awesome. So, oh my God, I'm so excited. We finally had green eggs and ham. Like I said, today's the first day. They're unsure of how long they're going to go. It's They're testing it. Right. And there's um, pizza fries here, right? Or is yeah, it? it's like a pizza, a pizza tot. Oh, pizza tots. Yeah. Okay. So everything is what? Tater tot based? Yes, yes. And then they have like a s'mores one. That's so the they dessert. have the dessert. Yep. So I'm mean, like, you can get your whole meal here. Yeah. It's great. Now, all we need is for Wimpy's to open one day and our life at Universal will be complete. And didn't you call it one day Wimpy's? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know it's not open right now because that whole area is closed uh, right. for Popeyes and Blue Lose Barges. But one day, that's the next goal. Exactly. Wimpy's, please. I want a Wimpy's burger. <laughs> not quite at the end yet, guys. You're almost there, though. I want to remind you, click that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. Subscribe! Since we are so close to uh, the Lost Continent, we might as well go behind Mythos and check out the construction of the new coaster. I don't think, I don't think anything major has happened, but it's been a while since I peeked over there. And she was out doing her meet and greet today, but we're going to skip over she Go check out the construction. Well, the first thing I have to say, I think they're going to need a bigger boat. But other than that, I do see some large pipes on the ground. I, I'm guessing this is for like infrastructure under the ground. I don't think these are support columns. But if you think you know better in the comments below, let me know. Are these like just pipes for the ground? I think so, but they could be support columns because I do believe in roller coasters, they fill those with sand. Let me know if I'm right about that. And the other thing I think I see over here by Popeyes and Bluto's barges, I think I see footers. 
I think you can see little pieces of rebar sticking up from concrete over here and I'm pretty sure that will be a support area. Not exactly sure but I think those are footers with the little rebar poking up. I tell you what I need though, I need a kid to go on the Toronadon Flyers with me. Nikki's short but not that short. Hey. If you're ever in town and you're visiting IOA and you see that I post on IG that I'm at IOA, you got a kid, bring him over to me. I need him for that Toronadon Flyer. Get some really good views of the construction site from up there. So I think that's going to do it for today. Who was able to figure out what was wrong with the globe? <laughs> Did you figure it out? It spins the wrong way. The wrong way? It's spinning the wrong way. To me it's the correct way. It's the way you read. It's, it's universal. It spins the way so that you can read the words. The urban legend is if it spins the other way it makes people nauseous. I don't know. To me it's the words. <laughs> but as always guys. Don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks. And now, time to relax. I'd like to take a moment and thank those viewers who have visited our coffee page and bought us a cup of coffee or a butter beer recently. First up, the Fate family. Thank you so much, guys. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you as well. Next up, Melody Hoffman. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Here's a big thank you to Richard Mata. Thanks for the butter beer, buddy. Next up, Heather Hanks. Thank you so much, Heather. Shoot me an email and I'll answer that question for you. And here's a thank you to Melinda. So happy our videos were able to help you out. And now, Sean, thanks so much for the butterbeer and nice seeing you in the parks. And thank you so much, One to Escape, Kelly from Belfast. Thanks for supporting the channel. And thank you, Linda Milton, for the butterbeer. And lastly, for today, Cheryl and Dave, thanks for supporting the channel.